Take a look at the IBF rules. Ten point must scoring system. No standing eight count. No three knockdown rule. Here's Jimmy Lennon. Jr. With this, this bout coming your way is a world title featured attraction once again brought to you by Don King Productions and Budweiser, the undisputed, undefeated king of beers. This bout is sanctioned by the International Boxing Federation. The president, Robert Lee Sr. Supervisor in attendance, Robert Lee Jr. Along with the Tennessee Boxing and Racing Board, director of boxing is John Hopkins. Introducing to you our judges, scoring this bout from ringside, Samuel Conde, Robert Gonzalez, and Don O'Neill. A referee in charge, working in this, his 32nd world title bout, Denny Nelson. All right, fans, here we go with the IBF welterweight championship of the world, scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. I present to you first the challenger on my left, fighting out of the blue corner, entering the ring wearing black and red trunks, joining us all the way from Westerham, Kent, England. He weighed in at already 146 and one quarter pounds. With a record of 19 wins, he has only one defeat and 16 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight's challenger, he is making his first attempt at a world title. Please welcome Kevin the Look Lushing. the ring presenting the defending world champion on my right fighting out of the red corner wearing white trunks tonight hailing from Cupe Alto Puerto Rico he weighed in at the welterweight limit of 147 pounds he is undefeated in his campaign in the ring with 30 wins no losses 26 of his wins coming by way of knockout Please welcome one of boxing's great young stars and pound for pound best tonight, making the 11th defense of his title, introducing the undefeated IBF welterweight champion of the world, Felix Tito Trinidad. All right, in world record. Uh, and our world title bounce, uh, Felix Trinidad is 11 and all with 10 knockouts. And Kevin Lushing is in his very first world title fight. This uh, should be interesting to see if he can rise to the occasion. Remember, Lushing actually has a better first round knockout percentage than does uh, Felix Trinidad. He knocks guys out an average of 3.3 rounds. It takes four rounds for Trinidad. Somebody's going to go in this one. That I'll promise you. Trinidad predicts it'll be inside of three. Lushing predicts it'll be inside of six. But Lushing predicts he'll be the knockout er as opposed to the knockout E that Felix Trinidad is predicting he'll be. Let's listen in to the referee, Denny Nelson. Fight hard, clean fight, and protect yourself at all times. Good luck to both of you. By the way, both fighters are on win streaks. Trinidad 30, it's a current. Lushing 11 wins in a row. All right, they're set to go. In career rounds, 122 for Trinidad, 67 for Lushing. This is the night of his life for Kevin Lushing from Westerham, Kent, in England. For Felix Trinidad, another day at work against another tough challenger. I'm Bob Sheridan. We're coming to you live from Nashville, Tennessee. The doctors are here, the bell sounds, and the IBF welterweight championship is underway. Trinidad to the right of your screen in white with the uh, red and blue trim and the flag of Puerto Rico on his left uh, uh, leg. And the fellow in the black and red trunks is Kevin Lushing. Both guys trying to feel each other out. Uh, Lushing said he would be uh, kind of feeling on Trinidad in the first round to see if anything would happen. No punches have been thrown. Trinidad, Tito, a little bit cautious, and he usually is in the very early going. Sometimes it takes a good shot for him to be hit with before he wakes up and really gets going. And he's the type of guy that when he gets knocked down, people say, uh-oh, I don't want to be the opponent now because that really gets him going. Lushing has the type of power in his hands that he could knock Trinidad down, but he's not going to knock him down from fighting three feet away. Uh, so far, they haven't come together. 
Alicia, if you notice, has a very wide, wide stance, and it will affect his mobility. And as soon as the people in the corner of uh, Tito Trinidad realize that, you'll see Trinidad use more side-to-side -side movement. Right now, they're coming straight into each other. Now, see the quick uh, step to the right by Felix. Felix is so smart. He does things so well. He does things that you don't realize what he's doing. No punches at all in this fight. Lucy finally throws something. The crowd will get on these two guys, but don't worry. Trinidad, known to start like this, has a right hand, sneaky right hand lead by Lucy, but it's short. Remember, there is a bit of an advantage uh, uh, for Tito Trinidad, and uh, that is that he looks taller. If he isn't taller on the scorecards, they say they're both 5'11", and I don't believe it. Trinidad looks taller, and he looks like he has more in reach advantage. The Showtime fellas in the American Network uh, measured Trinidad, but they wouldn't let us measure the Lushing, and I don't believe that they're both the same height and both have the same reach. I believe that Trinidad has a both at least an inch height advantage, and I don't know what's in reach, but he does have an advantage. A little tired to go, not crowd-pleasing to this point, but believe me, folks, you'll get your money's worth before this one's over. Lushing bangs with the left hand, and the crowd does come to life just a bit to see something. You know, Trinidad, a little bit cautious in the early going. He'll open up any time he decides to. Right now, what he's doing, and he's not just wasting time in there. He's seeing what feints can move this guy certain ways. He's testing the left jab. He'll test the right hand. He'll step to the left and feint and see where he can score. These are not uh, uh, designed to do anything but get him in position. Timing, positioning, and boxing. This is not uh, what you would call a mindless series of movements by Tito Trinidad. Felix knows exactly what he's doing. He wants to see how the guy moves while with the left hand is losing. See Trinidad just moves the head a bit and slips the punch. Trinidad seeing if he can get him to back. Losing showing a little bit more movement than perhaps Felix thought he'd see. Crowd not exactly pleased by this, but believe me, in the next round, this thing will open up a bit. Losing doing what he has to do. See on the trunks of Lucy as he walks in there, April and Ruby. Ruby's his daughter, was born in the month of April, and the other one, Jackie, is his wife. But right now we're in the corner of Felix Trinidad. He's telling him to be calm and patient and to focus, and that's exactly what he's doing. He doesn't need to press, he's the champion. They're telling him to go to the body. Felix very confident. He says, I know what I have to do. All right, here we go. This is round number two. And even first round in that nobody really did anything. Trinidad tested the waters a little bit. You'll see him pick up the pace a little bit more here in round number two. You will like this round better than the first round, and so will I. All right, let's see just how much adrenaline Felix gets going. He knows exactly what he has to do. Lushing does a little bit of assaulting on his own. They want him to pick up the pace a bit in that corner, too. That's Tito Trinidad in the white to the right of the screen. You see him short with his punches. He's really very cautious with this guy, Lushing. And I think a lot of that has to do with the great job that uh, uh, happened to uh, uh, the Moroccan fighter doing uh, and lifting the title from Frankie Randall. You can be sure that Trinidad is aware of the great job that uh, uh, Ralu did on uh, on uh, Frankie Randall. It just uh, really surprised everybody here. And uh, Tito a little bit more cautious than I've seen him. Although he's trying to pick it up now and cut this guy off. It's very strange. Lushing is fighting the type of fight that Ray Lu did in the first fight, uh, staying away from Frankie Randall. The only thing is, Frankie Randall's 35. This kid's 24. He can chase him all day. He catches Trinidad. Showing power. Trinidad's down. And it's one of those flash knockdowns. He caught him with a left hook. And he surprised Tito. Plenty of time. Tito always comes back stronger after he gets knocked down. That's sometimes what he needs. He got knocked down, and let's see if it gets him going. It'll give Lucy confidence as he moves in. Trinidad takes one of the body. Trinidad not opening up, not panicking. We've seen it happen against Obacar. We've seen it happen against many opponents. He's been down five times. 
in his career against Yuri Boyd Campus, he went down, against Obakar, he went down, and in both cases, it was early in the fight, and in both cases, he knocked out the opponent. So let's see if it's the wake-up call for Trinidad. You heard me say before the fight that sometimes it takes something to get his adrenaline going. Wow, with the left hand. Wow, with the right hand is Lushing. But we now know one thing. Lushing does possess some power. Or well, once again, do we question the chin of Felix Trinidad? Lushing uh, now does have the respect that he didn't before of Trinidad. Maybe Trinidad realized the power of Lushing, and perhaps that's why he was so cautious. Uh, Lushing landed two punches. It was a pretty good left hand, and then a real good left hand to flatten the champion. A good shot got uh, Trinidad by surprise. One of those flash knockdowns, and Trinidad now chasing Lushing. It's amazing. Both European fighters doing a nice job defensively, staying away from these big uh, punches of the American fighters. Trinidad is wide-eyed now. He knows what he has to do with that chopping right hand by Lushing again. Both guys wild at the bell. Well, there's Lushing's 10-8 round. Asked him how he is, of course. Trinidad told him he was fine, no problems. Now we show you the knockdown. See him coming in, he catch him. That's a real good shot. And he gets on him again, and he catch him again. The second shot wasn't as good as the first one. The first one got him in trouble. Remember when I said Kevin knows how to follow up when he gets a guy in trouble? Watch this. Bang! He really spun the head on that one. And Trinidad's eyes are clear. Now you see the April ruby there? April is the month his daughter ruby was born in. Also on those trunks, he has a NCAA or NAWC. I don't know what that's for. It has something to do with the prevention of cruelty to animals or something. Oh, the joke. <laughs> Here we go to round number three, and I've got Kevin Lushing out in front by a couple of points in this fight. Scored the first round dead even, and the second round at 10-8 with a knockdown in favor of Lushing. Trinidad down in the second round, and a real good left hook. This is round number three. Bob Sheridan here, the IBF welterweight championship of the world. Tito on the assault all the time, but not able to catch up with this guy. Lushing showing some nice defensive tactics. And a lot of the British press guys that were here, Colin Hart, when I say we're here, I'm here, they uh, really like this kid. They say this kid has tremendous power. And if that's the case, if he has shown the power here, and look at those powerful shots there, too, just grazing the jar of Tito Trinidad. This kid does possess the punching power. Uh, surprising Tito with two nice left hooks in that second round to score the knockdown. Tito on the assault again. He hasn't landed anything. First round, neither guy did anything. And I thought Tito was showing too much respect to Lucian. Now I fully, and I'm sure you do, understand why.
referee has stopped the fight, it's all over, and Felix Trinidad has retained his title with a knockout at the closing bell of the third round. Wow! It came at 2.59 of the third round. I wasn't sure if the referee would stop it or not. And Lushing's eyes are watered, and I think his corner was glad they did stop it. The kid may be hurt. He's back up on his feet now. Lushing's legs are still a little rubbery. I'll tell you, it didn't last long, and Tito Trinidad said it would end in the third, and it took just about the full three. But I don't know about you, I got my money's worth. And we're going to show you all three knockdowns in this round. This is pretty exciting. This will be the very first knockdown. This is a left hook that'll catch him. Faints, faints, sets him up, faints again. Bam, right there, behind that right ear. But his eyes, you'll see him look this way now. He looks up, his eyes are clear. His legs aren't there, but his eyes are there, and his head is there. You see the referee, Denny Nelson, look right into those eyes, and he sees the clarity. Watch this, what do we got here now? There's Lushing fighting back. Bang to the body. He comes back, you see? Backs Trinidad off a bit, then a nice uppercut. That one is a telling, telling blow. Much heavier than the first one. He looks back up, that's the second knockdown, and now this is the end of the fight. Now it's very close to the bell. He's backing up, backing up, boom, a straight right hand. And that's all she wrote. Down he crumbles the canvas, and look at the eyes there. They're glazed over as he rolls back on his back as the blood trickles from his lower lip and the eyes roll back into the head. I'll tell you one thing, Lushing was game while he was around. Trinidad knocked down in the second, and the challenger down three times in the third. Well, once again, it took a knockdown for Trinidad. Hey, he may have a questionable chin, but it doesn't make any difference, because in order to get knocked out, you got to knock him down. This kid's something else. He's a terrific fighter. Here's Jimmy. A little microphone problem for Jim. They don't hear him Jim. in the arena. Ladies and gentlemen, we, we have the time of 2 minutes, 59 seconds of round number three. Our referee in charge, Denny Nelson, stops the contest. The winner by way of technical knockout, still undefeated. Still the IBF welterweight champion of the world, Felix Tico. of the third round, TKO. Felix Trinidad, I'm sure we'll have some interviews here. Dr. Pacheco speaks Spanish, so we'll be able to get all of this and have it explained to us. That was a terrifically interesting fight. There's Frank Warren, who is a partner of Don King in the European Theater of Operations. He'll be promoting that big fight between our man, the featherweight, Tom Boom Boom Johnson, on the 8th of February. And of course, his man, Prince Nassim Hamad, who was a huge, huge star in the Middle East, Europe, Africa, and becoming a big star in the Far East, in Canada, and just about every place else in the world but the United States. Look at this. Trinidad on the assault. Let's go to the interview now. Me, me, me colocó un buen golpe y yo todavía no me tumbó, pero como todas mis peleas que me han tumbado, que gracias a Dios mi condición, me he parado ahí. He knew he was a counter puncher. He was a hard hit. He did feel it. He went down, but he, like always, he gets up and attacks. He doesn't see that that's anything different. Mira, mira aquí en donde te vamos a enseñar al final de esa pelea y uh, hablamos más. Ahora. Usted va a hablar. Este es lo que le pasó. Ok. ¿Tú me dicen eso? Bueno, eh, no, un contragolpe. Un contragolpe. Ahí fue que no me tumbó a mí. Okay. Ah, ok. Sí. sí. Vale. Eh, eso, ¿Eso fue dolor o fue nada más sorpresa? No, para mí fue. Ya me colocó un buen golpe, fue un ancho izquierda. Y... He, he had, I said, was that pain or was that uh, surprise? And he said it was both because he hit me with a left hook and I went down, it hurt, and I went down. We will now try, vamos a tratar de enseñarte tu knockdown cuando llegamos a ese punto. Tu pensabas que tenías cualquier problema con él después que te levantaste. Did you think you'd have any problem with him after you got up? 
yo estaba bien, bien tranquilo y bien seguro de que yo iba a ganar, iba a ganar por nocaut. Me ha pasado en varias peleas y yo estaba bien, bien tranquilo. At the final of the fight, he was confident that he was going to win. Once he got up, he didn't worry about that. He thought that was going. Here, map. Aquí es el final de la pelea. Bueno, yo lo había lastimado con una chiquela. So I've hit him with a left hook. Ahí fue, ahí fue con una recta y lo lastimé con una recta. A right hand, put him down. Y sonó la campana. And then the bell, bell sounded. ¿Tú creías que se iba a levantar? Did you think he was getting up? No, yo ya estaba bien difícil que se levantara. No, he wasn't going to get up. It was all over. ¿Tú crees que necesitaba el tercer knockdown porque en el segundo parecía bastante? Do you think he needed the third knockdown? Sí, bueno, el árbitro podía detener la pelea, pero el árbitro es el que decide. Yeah, he said the referee could have decided to stop it on the second round, but he's the one that decides. If he says three, then we'll knock him down three times. And it, and this, it, it, pardon me. And what I was referring to was he had two knockdowns and then he knocked out, but whereas he just had the, the knockdowns. But in the pelea, when you tumba a ti and you te levantas con confianza que vas a ganar otra vez, no? Sí, seguro que sí. Yo me levanté con mucha confianza y estaba seguro de que yo iba a ganar la pelea. All right, he was sure that he was going to win.